Hello friends, today we will discuss how to estimate earthwork in a road project. Quantity of earthwork. The cross section of a road is in the form of a trapezium and this can be either in embankment or it can be in cutting also. If it is in embankment, the section is like this. Otherwise, in cutting it is like this. Now, this is the ground level and this is the depth of cutting D. This is the formation width B. Here, this is the existing ground and we are preparing the embankment of depth. D that is the side slope S is to 1 it depends upon the type of soil it can be 2 is to 1 it can be 1.5 is to 1 also 2.5 is to 1 also and this is the formation width B here also there is a side slope side slope generally in embankment is different from the side slope in cutting let us assume it is S is to 1 horizontal to 1 horizontal to vertical area area you can find out of this trapezium this is s into d this is also s into d so you have a rectangle here you have two triangles here total area of this trapezium is b plus b plus 2s into d divided by 2 multiplied by the depth. That is how you find out the area of a trapezium. B, this is B plus 2 HD, that is the base width, average of the top width and the base width multiplied by the depth. Or you can also see it is the area B into D, this rectangle plus 2 triangles plus 2 into 1 by 2 into S D into D by 2 that is same. So, you have B D plus S into D square this is the area. Whether the road is in cutting or in filling the area is the formation width into the depth plus side slope into depth square. This formation level is fixed based on several considerations. It may be highest flood level, it may be the slope in the long run direction or it may be the depth of cutting or depth of embankment. In plains, the road is generally in embankment and the current practice is also to construct a new road in embankment to avoid the problem of drainage at a later stage. But even in case of embankment, there may be some portion of the road which comes under cutting and therefore in that case what happens that the soil which is excavated from the cutting portion is utilized in the embankment, making the embankment. But this portion or this part of the soil which is taken from the cutting and utilized in the banking is not considered in the estimation of the quantity to avoid the complications in the computation as well as the contract. And therefore, the total amount of soil or total amount of earthwork is the earthwork in the embankment portion and in the cutting portion, some of these two, but rates are different. Rate of the Cutting is different from the rate of the embankment and therefore they are estimated separately. Two terms are important. One is the lead, another is the lift. Lead is the total horizontal distance to be moved for transporting the soil. And this distance is measured from the center of the cutting to the center of the deposition. Now, generally this 30 meter lead is considered to be standard and the rate which are given in schedule of rates, SOR, considers 30 meter as the lead distance. The second is the lift. 
how much soil is to be lifted what is that lift depth and here also 1.5 meter is considered to be the standard so when we say the schedule of rate it considers that there will be standard 30 meter lead and 1.5 meter lift if the lift or lead is different then rates will be different quantity of earthwork can be estimated by three different methods one is the mid sectional area method another is mean sectional area method and third is prismoidal method or simpson rule method today in this session i will explain to you what is the mid sectional area method of estimating quantity of work earthwork in a road project so road profile or the longitudinal profile of the formation level is drawn by taking rl at every 30 meter distance 30 meter is considered the standard chain length and because there is a slope in the longitudinal direction the height of embankment will change with the length height of the embankment or cutting will change with length now in this method let us say this is the chain length 30 meter here is the chain length and here you have the depth d1 and here the depth is d2 and this difference is basically because of longitudinal slope in the road so in this method mid sectional area method we consider the depth at the midpoint here midpoint of the section midpoint of the length one chain length and let us say this depth is dm this dm is the average of depth at two ends d1 plus d2 and the sectional area will be now a b into dm plus s into dm square that is sectional area and the volume volume of earthwork or q quantity of earthwork will be area multiplied by the length this length 30 meter that is mid sectional area method of estimating quantity of earthwork now let me just uh, take one example just to illustrate how these calculations are made in a tabular form and example is like this calculate the quantity of earthwork for 150 length 150 meter length of a road in a uniform ground the width of formation is 10 meter the depth of embankment at higher end or you can say zero chainage is 2.5 meter longitudinal slope is 1 in 100 chain length is 30 meter and side slope is 2 is to 1 now so let us say this is the natural ground and that is the formation level now formation level has a slope of 1 in 100 and that is the zero chain is here then you have 30 60 90 120 and 150 so this is 30 60 meter 90 meter 120 meter and 150 meter we are considering only 150 meter length of the road now chain is here the height this height is 2.5 meter and you have a slope of 1 in 100 so the height this height will be 2.5 minus 0.3 30 divided by 100 so 2.2 meter so this will be 2.2 meter this will be 1.9 meter 1.6 meter 1.3 meter and 1 meter here it will be 1 meter so height is varying from one end to another end from 2.5 meter to 1 meter so now you can make a table like this that you have the section
starting with let us say 0, then 30, then 60, then 90, 120 and 150. And the height, height of embankment. At 0 it is 2.5, at 30, 2.2, 1.9, 1.6, 1.3 and 1.0. Now you take mid height, height at the mid, so average of these two values. Here, here height at the mid length of 30 meter. So it is 2.35, let, let us say dm, then average of next two values that is 2.05, average of next two values 1.75 and so on. You can calculate these values, they will also be, will differ by 0.3 meter. Now you have dm, the side slope is 2, depth is known now, the cross the area of form the, the width of formation is 10 meter and therefore you can find out here the area a area is bd plus s into d square b is the 10 b is 10 meter d is calculated here s is 2 and d again this one so you can calculate what is the area this is 34.545 meter square. Next 28.905 meter square, 23.625 and so on. Length, length of the chain is 30 meter in each case. So you can find out what is the volume. Area multiplied by 30 that is 1036. 0.35 or 867.15 and so on. You can calculate the quantity for each row. Take total sum here. Let us say this total is 3597.75 meter cube. And if you know the rate, rate of earthwork, let us say 1200 rupees per cubic meter is the rate. Then total cost of earthwork will be this multiplied by 1200 that would be 1200 multiplied by 3597.75. So this is 43 lakh 17,300 rupees. That is the cost of earthwork of 150 meter. So that is how you determine the quantity of earthwork and cost of earthwork using method 1 that is mid sectional area method. Now in addition to this quantity of earthwork, what is required is the side area also. Now you have the This type of earthwork. Now, this part, which is slope on both sides of the embankment, they are provided with either pitching, stone pitching, or turfing. So, you need to know the area of this side slope also. Take this as a trapezium again. This is the depth D. Now this will be the diagonal and that is S into D. So this will be D square, D square plus S square, D square, square root or you can say D square root 1 plus S square. Remember S is the side slope, D is the depth of cutting and because the depth is again changing with the chainage. So this area will also change. So you can calculate this area also for the purpose of turfing by making another table. Prepare a table like this, five columns, section, 
mean depth sloping breadth this is the sloping breadth length 30 meter and then area and you have the slope on both sides so it will be two times so section let us say 0 to 30 meter mean depth you have calculated here 2.35 at this point mean depth 2.35 2.2 plus 2.5 by 2 so sloping breadth now this is this is d into s is 2 so square root of 5 now d is 2.35 square root 5 this is 5.255 meter length is 30 so area is now 2 times 5.255 into 30 that is 315 into 0.286 meter square again next is 30 to 60 meter mean depth is now 2.05 so sloping breadth will be 2.05 into square root of 5 that is 4.8 4.5 30 and this value will be 275.036 meter square similarly for 60 to 90 90 to 120 120 to 150 meter take sum of all these values and this sum is 1173.936 meter square and if you know the cost of unit cost of turfing or unit cost of pitching multiply this area by that cost to get the total cost of turfing in a length of 120 meter on both side of the slope so that is how we estimate the quantity of earthwork using mid sectional area method in the next session i will tell you the second method that is mean sectional area method thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question you can write